Hello and welcome to a, another Doctor of the System 1 video. Now this may, <laughs> you know, you may be thinking, uh, this may be contradicting my new news video slash update thing, which was that I'm not really going to be doing any more video game content on the channel, um, and that which is true and, and fair, but technically these are sort of video game statues um, and that. Um, I'd say the sort of figurines but then again they don't have any articulation really. But um, but yeah, uh, if you're not aware, uh, this is, today is the 29th of May which is Splatoon's release date and I was fortunate enough to have got this as a surprise so I didn't even know that I was getting it today. Uh, yeah, extremely ecstatically happy if you could not tell in my voice. Um, yeah, um, I've not really had time to use this in the game. I literally just jumped into uh, multiplayer after just doing a quick tutorial. And uh, I'm already level 6, so yeah, in a day. Uh, this video <laughs> isn't just about me bragging about that or whatever. Um, it is actually about a review of this amiibo. Uh, this is the fourth amiibo that I've got now. And yeah, so uh, unlike the other amiibos, it doesn't come with the sort of base plate that we're normally used to, which is the sort of one with the the sort of um, uh, the emblem of Smash Bros on it. So yeah, um, this one is of a squid, like kind of jumping up from the ink, which yeah, you can tell by all this ink, uh, sort of splodging outwards, outwards sort of, um, and whatnot. And I love the the sculpt and the detail on it, just fantastic. And the eyes are very, 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 you know, like pop out, and the very it it just gives a very animated sort of animated and cartoony look to it and it also feels nice as well like it's got this sort of nice uh, feel on my fingers and that and I don't know how to describe it kind of like a shiny sort of scratchy kind of feel I don't know it's right weird and then you got like these uh, what is it it's like tentacle like things down here uh, and then you got a few spots there if you look closely uh, there you got like a big puddle like effect there and some blobs like that are actually raised up from the base plate. Now you just scan it in with the uh, um, uh, NF, uh, NFC sort of uh, chip reader thing in the gamepad. Uh, you've even got like a little circle like thing indentation there on the squids sort of uh, technically thing. Um, and unlike most figures I feel like um, the sort of way that it stands up is actually plausible and is with this like strip of ink and that and I really like that because it's not like um, the Link figurine where it just has or statue where it just has the uh, yellow sort of pee like strip and, and that and makes him look like he's peeing which is quite disturbing really um, yeah this this uh, doesn't give you any sort of um, uh, perks in the game, it just gives you like this uh, exclusive content only in the single player so it's not like it's really gonna like if you have the amiibos then you're a better player and therefore uh, you know it's unbalanced and therefore you know you'll get lots of critics like this game is unbalanced Nintendo you shouldn't be doing this blah 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 and whatnot so but yeah really good quality good paint apps um, and whatnot Real cool detail with the eyes, love the eyes, love the, the sort of uh, tentacly things as well. They've even got like sort of dark green as well, like shading at the bottom and whatnot of the tentacles. Um, and that, and I really like that. I just love this little figurine, it'll look so cool on my uh, shelf up there. Up there with the rest, if you can see those. So, yeah look pretty cool over there um, so yeah that will about do it really um, just a little quick review of the Splatoon amiibo or one of the Splatoon amiibo uh, thanks for watching comment rate and subscribe